It's your birthday. Jim. I know. A little smile on your face can make... Jim, I can't smile! I'm sorry. I'm sorry we can't invite friends to come and celebrate with you. Nobody should know you're here. But you know what? Just make any request and I'll grant it. Yeah. Jim, I want to be free! I'm tired of being locked up all alone in this room. I want to walk past that door and go and spend time with my daughter! Don't you understand? I want to see my daughter! I need you to understand that you can never leave this room and you will never spend time with our daughter again. Do you understand? Why? Chima, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why? I want to see my daughter. I want to see my child. I want to spend time with my daughter. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave, me. Leave me. Leave me. I hate you. I hate you. your family a drink? Take a seat. Go ahead. A seat. Come on, relax. There is no need getting all tensed up right now. My name is Ralu Chiku. Okay. Ralu for short. And I've been trying so hard to catch your attention and show you how much I, you know, I care about you, but. Okay. If I told you I am crazy about you, would you? Okay, let me cut the chase here. I fell in love with you the first time I set eyes on you, and that was like two months ago. Honestly, I think we can be great together. What do you think? You're not in your trouble. No. You're not trying to kill me. <laughs> Why would I do that? Oh. So all this is about love. Yeah. Oh, really? So all this is about... Get out. Manu, you walked into my car and scared me. I thought you were going to rob me, and you said, Get out! <laughs> I'm screaming. Get out. Out! Let me leave you before me. another madman. Come on, give me help.
Chima. Chima, it's my birthday and the only gift I want is to see my daughter. Please, Chima. Just this once and I promise you I will never ask for anything. Let me see my daughter, Chima. Please. I'm sorry. You can't see her. It's for your own good. Try to understand. You leave me! <laughs> you want to see my daughter? Let me see my daughter. Okay. Chima, let me see my daughter. It's okay, it's okay. It's me. <laughs> leave me alone. Chima. Chima, leave me alone. Chima, leave me alone. Leave me alone! Leave me. Chima, don't do this! Don't, don't! Chima, don't do this! Chima, Chima! Chima! Chima, leave me alone! Chima! Chima! Don't! Ah! Ah! No! 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 Leave me! Leave me alone! Chima, leave me alone! Oh, God! <laughs> Chima, you don't love me. I love you. That's why I married you. I see, I want you to be happy. Shh. 
Chima, if you want me to be happy, Chima, please let me see my daughter. She would also be happy to see me. Please, Chima, let me see my daughter. Just this once, Chima, just this once. Chima's house and I saw a beautiful cake sitting on the table waiting for me. Apparently he remembered it's my birthday. I'm telling you, I will not be surprised if he asks me to marry him. <laughs> of course I'm going to say yes. Don't worry. I'll call you back and I'll give you all the details. God, it's going so nice. Who is she? Who? The girl you were staring at. Who is she? Well, are you serious? You've kept me here waiting for too long and you're asking this. Get in! Get in! Looking at me like that, can't you say good afternoon or say something nice at least? <laughs> that is my mommy's been the kick. <laughs> That's not possible because I'm sure your daddy remembers it's my birthday and decided to surprise me with this beautiful cake. Liar! Are you calling me a liar? You're a liar. So this reminds me that I bought this cake for the money I saved. How dare you eat it? Hmm. Hmm. No, you don't do that. Do what? You just give me mommy's cake and now you're licking your fingers. Who does that? Me? You're at your age and don't talk to me like that. Am I a mate? My mom doesn't talk like a drunk boot. What did you just say? What did you just say? What's the problem? Hey, honey. What's can going you, on? Can you imagine? I mean...
That's not my phone. It's it's not my phone. I don't know what it was in my bag. Hello, darling. Hello? What's this? What happened? A man took a call. Oh, that hurts. Rally. How many times do I have to tell you that? Oh my God, I am so sorry. But why is it hard for you to understand that no girl out there is free? If she doesn't have a boyfriend, she is either with a sugar daddy or a husband. In some cases, some girls do have the two or the three. Sir, how are you going to get your phone back? Is she pretty? Can I see? Please stop! Man is. How can you swear with your wife? Go to your room. Can you ask me nicely? Go to your room. I just only wanted to go to your room. That phone is not my phone. I don't know who that man is. I don't even know how the phone got into my bag. My sister doesn't lie to me. Chima, I am not messy. I don't look like her. And I will not have you compare me to a dead woman. me to stop coming here. No. No, no, Chima. You can do that. You can stop coming here. Look, I'll be so lonely in here. Stay in here alone. Please. You can stop. And you have to stop this drama. Accept the fact that you're going to stay here for the rest of your life. And that you're not going to set eyes on Chima again. Chima, I don't care about me anymore. Don't you understand? I don't want her to stay here. Take her to my sister's house. Please, let her leave. I can't take it. Nothing is going to happen to her. She has only come to spend her holiday with me. Something bad will happen to her 
is when you attract attention to yourself. Or try to escape from this room. Do you understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Emergency. I am fine. There is no emergency. So why are you calling us if there, there was an emergency? I don't want to be your bestie anymore. Did I do something wrong? No. Over heels in love with you. <clears throat> Ada. You're kidding, right? No. I can no longer hide the fact that I can't stand any girl around you. I want to be the only girl in your life. Ada. I want to be the girl your heart beats for. Please, please. Stop this. I don't, I don't understand all this. about to say. Daddy. Yes? Can we talk in private, please? Listen, sweetheart. I don't know why you would say a thing like that. I know you don't like her, but that doesn't mean she would want to kill you. Daddy, I'm telling you the truth. She put a pillow on my face and killed me. Are you dead now? Yes, I died. In the nightmare. I would have told you in the morning, but you locked yourself in mommy's room. It is just what you called it, a nightmare. I'm looking at you right now, and you are alive. Dad. Yes? Forget about it. I know you wouldn't believe me. She just makes you behave like you're kidding. 
Who is Ikenan? Kenan? How does he behave? Well, he's my classmate. If everybody's meant to stand up and I ask him to sit down, he will just sit down. He does everything I say. Like a drunk goat. What does that even mean? Kechi. No, 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 no. I have been thinking about this whole thing. What does a drunk goat look like? How does he talk? Can you just calm down? You see, that girl always, always, always makes me look bad before her father. I will not take it anymore. I have to put that child in her place. If not, she will destroy my relationship. Keep quiet and listen. I think Chima is a ritualist. You said his wife is dead, right? He has a room. Nobody enters. He loves you, but has never made love to you, no matter how hard you try to seduce him. I don't understand what point exactly are you trying to make. I am not an alarmist. But girlfriend, use your brain and connect the dots. Not let her go. Hi. Chima, if you truly love me and you don't want me to lose my sanity, come with me. To where? Chima, I will walk out of this relationship and I will not look back. Sweetheart. What is the problem? Are you coming or not? relationship if this is how it's going to be. No. Hmm. Kitchen, I'm, I'm trying real hard to put my life together here. You walk out of me, you, you, you walk out of this relationship, I'll be shattered and I'm going to start all over again and you know that. You, you can't. Are you seeing someone else? Are you cheating on me? No. I, I am not. You know I'm not cheating on you. I don't know anything. Yesterday was my birthday. Not even a call or a text message. Not even a birthday wish. Sorry. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, just be, be patient with me. I, I promise you I'll, I'll be fine. Are you a ritualist? Why do you keep locking that door? What's in there? Who is in there? What happened to your wife? My wife died. She died. Two years ago when we bought this house. This was our room. And then she, she died. I'm gonna kill that bitch. I'm gonna kill her. I used to spend all my days in there. It kept me. It just it 
made me feel her warmth and, and, and her presence. Until you came into my life. Please be lying to her. Oh God. If not for my daughter's safety, I would have exposed him. For the cold hearted liar and manipulator that he is. Have you been avoiding my calls? Uh, Ada, I am not avoiding you. But that is what you are doing. I know how many times I've called you in the last few days. You never took my calls. Did you even call me back? Can you pull yourself together? Alright? I am not avoiding you, okay? I don't want you to cause a scene here. Are you avoiding me because of the girl you were staring at her picture on your phone? is all about you actually causing a scene here i don't care i want to cause a scene let me cause a scene if that is what it would like to bring you back to your senses there is nothing wrong with my senses i am taking you home right now no i'm here If you know why your daddy always locks the master bedroom and what exactly is in there. I'm wondering how you think. <clears throat> how do you mean? What makes you think you ask me that question and I'll answer you? You know you're a witch. You're so annoying. There's no difference between you and a real witch. Wait. What runs but never walks? Has a mouth but never talks? Has bed but never sleeps? Has head but never weeps? <laughs> well, maybe if you had answered my question, I would have just answered yours. <laughs> I know you don't know it. It's a river.
Ralu, how could you say that? I don't know who that girl is, but I can bet my life she is not good enough for you. I am everything you could ever want in a woman who complement each other. Can't you see that? Can you understand? Okay. Ada. I understand that you've been a very wonderful friend to me. And I think... I think we can go beyond being besties. We've had a lot of fun together. As you can see... Hey, hey you need to cut this now. You don't want to do this, right? You know I will not let any other woman take you away from me. Why did you think I left Kelvin? I did it for us. Okay. I need to leave now. Uh, no. We can have sex. Take me. Make love to me. Do anything you want to do with me. Have me. You can... You... Stop it. to understand that you can never leave this room and you will never spend time with our daughter again. Do you understand? Why? Chima, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why? I want to see my nurse. I want to see my child. I want to spend time with my daughter. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You are so beautiful and lovely. I love you. Jima, you don't love me. I love you. That's why I married you. I see, I want you to be happy. Chima, if you want me to be happy, Chima, please let me see my daughter. She would also be happy to see me. Please, Chima. Let me see my daughter. Just this once. Chima, just this once. I don't want to hear anything. I am not lying to you. I swear to God with my life. I do not know who that man is. How can you swear with your wife? Go to your room. Can you ask me nicely? Go to your room. I just only wanted to... Go to your room. That film is not my film. I don't know who that man is. I don't even know how the phone got into my bag. My son doesn't lie to me. Chima, I am not messy. I don't look like her. And I will not have you compare me to a dead woman. Chima. Chima, please. Chima, I beg you. In the name of God. Chima, you can keep me here as long as you want. Oh, please. 
please, I want my daughter to live here. Please, Chima, take her to my sister's house. I want her to leave. Please. Do you want me to stop coming here? No. No, no, Chima, you can't do that. You can't stop coming here. The girl will be so lonely in here. Stay in here, though. Please. You can stop. And you have to stop this drama. Accept the fact that you're going to stay here for the rest of your life. And that you are not going to set eyes on Choma again. Chima, I don't care about me anymore! Don't you understand? I don't want her to stay here! Take her to my sister's house. Please, let her leave. I can't take it! <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to her. She has only come to spend her holiday with me. She's going to die! How do I explain to you that you cannot see your mommy again? Why can't I see my mommy again? Forget whatever I said in the past. What I want you to understand right now is that your mommy is... Whoever says she's sleeping in that room and I shouldn't... Your mommy is dead and buried. She is in, she is in heaven right now. And you can't see her again. Then why do you always lock yourself in that room? Now, don't ever talk about your mommy or that room again. Do you understand? Don't ever talk about... Now go, go, go to your room. Out! Please come and take me. I don't want to stay anymore. The whole day is not over. But I don't want to stay like that anymore. I want to see my mommy. I want my mommy. I used to allow me to watch my favorite cartoon before I go to bed. Well, I am not your mother. Turn off that TV and go upstairs. And you can't be my mother. You know you're a sport brat. My mommy this, my mommy that, my mommy this, my mommy that. Your mother is dead and gone. Turn off the TV! My mother used to allow me to watch my time. My mother used to do this. My mother used to do that. Sport brat.
Hello, darling. I... I thought I heard Chuma's voice. Uh, yes. Actually, she just came to kiss me goodnight. Ah. Mm -hmm. escape. This is my opportunity to kill her. I'm going to kill her. Who she kills my daughter. My daughter. Yes. about to hurt us. Something bad is about to happen. Come on. It's just the two of us. Nothing bad is going to happen. I think you should go upstairs. I go to the room. I'll turn off the lights and uh, join you. Okay? Come on. Right now. <laughs> Fine.
Stay back. I'm not warning you. Don't come close. Don't come close. Don't. Don't. You want to kill me? I'm going to kill her. Next time, you defy my order and leave this room. I will not be lenient. to be in your arms. Mm. It's a lovely kind of feeling. <sighs> would you ever, would you ever make love to me? Yes. Is your mom all right? She wants me to go to my brother-in-law's house and check on my little niece. Is that why you're wearing a long face? Sometimes I, I hate it when my mother doesn't listen to me. Chima, my brother-in-law, he lives in this town. He has complicated grief disorder and wouldn't seek professional help. And my mother doesn't say anything wrong with that. What does that mean? Is he mentally ill? Not really. Since the death of his wife in a ghastly motor accident, his life has never been the same. Oh. He must be in terrible pain. Yeah. We are worried about him, as well as those around him. You know, my mom told me that, my little niece told her that the father acts very strangely and that she doesn't like the girlfriend who she recently had a fight with over a birthday cake. It's crazy, you know, little kids. Your brother-in-law's name is Chima. Uh -huh. yeah. He has a daughter that doesn't like the girlfriend. Yes. What's wrong? This complicated grief disorder makes him violent. Dangerous. Yeah. Oh my god. Cool. What's the problem? She's not taking my calls. What's going on? Who is not picking your calls? Um. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
What is it? That I'm scared. You're scared? Why? I don't want to sleep alone. I want to sleep between the two. Ah! What did you do that for? Who was that? Auntie, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were here. Oh! This ant must be very small. Okay, please just let it go. She's just a kid. Okay. Go. Let's get some sleep. So you're missing ah. I didn't have to ask what you were doing when I called. Make it out. Oh, you had sex with him? My darling, we were almost getting there. And then boom, his witch of a daughter came and spoiled everything. Oh. Well, I called to warn you. Chima is a very dangerous man. Uh, what are you talking about? Is it my Chima or some other person? I learned that Chima is suffering from complicated grief disorder. What does that even mean? Bought a new phone. Do you don't want to take your call? It's not my phone. I don't know the idiot that dropped his phone in my bag. Get your hands off her this moment. Chima is perfectly fine. Do you know what you've just done? Do you know what you've just done? I thought we were friends. that this rubbish you did right now will not cost me the one girl I've fallen in love with. Just pray! What did 
I do? What did I do wrong? Drink water in this house again. Why? You lied to me. You said my mom was sleeping in that locked room. Chima, that was what I told you because you were still too young to understand the loss of a mother. You lied to me. I want to know what is in that room. I have told you never to talk about That's that room. That's my mom's room, and I'll talk about it. Don't you dare talk to me in that manner again. Do you understand? What kind of a girl are you? Eh? How can you have such evil thought for a girl you, 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 you call a friend? Didn't I try to warn her? Did she listen to me? If the man kills her... Will you shut up your mouth? What is wrong with you? Now, where's the man's address? Where's the address? I, I need to inform Kichi about all this now. How is that your business? 
Are you now a psychiatrist? No. I am a man in love. So where's the address? With my friend? You have been seeing my friend behind my back. Do you know the kind of betrayer that is? Fine. I will forgive you. I will give us a chance. Give us a chance? <laughs> Adobe, we are not dating here. I didn't know Nkechi and you were friends. So, how have I been seeing her behind your back? I just told Choma that I want to be left alone. I hope you understand that too. Yeah, I do. Out. We need to talk. Stop looking at me like that. I did not kill your mother. I know you want to kill me. I hate you. to me, you little spelt brat. I am not a nice person to have as an enemy. So if you have nothing nice to say from that gutter of yours, you shush it or you go suck on a tongue. My mama is not dead. She's sleeping in that locked room you asked me about. I can suck on something too.
My daddy says she sleeps in this room. I know what your daddy said, but your mom is not here. And I think that your daddy might need some help. Because I think he's going through some personal stuff. Okay? So let's get you out of here now. Open this door for Mercy to escape. The door was open. And there is no mercy. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'm going to kill the two of you. Daddy. Shut up! Maybe I should kill you first, so your mother will know that I am not joking. What is wrong with you? Where is Messi? Where is she? Maybe I should kill you first. believe it. I have been stabbed in the back. Stabbed? I thought Nkechi was my friend, but she was just a slimy, dangerous snake. Do you know she's dating my Ralu and Chima, your brother-in-law, behind my back? Are you for real? No wonder Ralu came to ask me where Chima lives. Did you tell him? Yes, I did. I told him. I would do something nasty right now. Wait, why? Ada, why? What's going on? Take me to where Chima lives. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think I can take you there. If we don't get there on time, something bad might happen to your little niece. My niece?
You're not going anywhere. This whole place is locked. Now where is my wife? Where is she? You let her out of that room. Where is she? What are you talking about? If you don't tell me where she is, I will kill the two of you. Where is my wife? Chima, how can you threaten to kill your own daughter? You told me how much you love her, how she's the best thing that has happened to you. How can you even say this in front of her? Chima, I understand that you're hurt. You didn't expect that this would happen to your wife, I know. But she's dead and it's not your fault. It's my fault. It's not your fault. It's the fault of the drunk driver. It's my fault too! I was over speeding. She, she warned me. I, I wouldn't listen. And now she... No, she's not dead. She's... You let her out of that room and she's, she's somewhere. You have to tell me where she is. You, you have to help me find her. You, you have to. Chima, your wife is dead and buried and long gone. You need to come to terms with it and move on as well. Please, let her rest in peace and please try. Shut up! She's not dead. She's somewhere in this house. I love her so much. And her memories are the only things I have left. You have to help me find her. You have to help me find her. Yes, you have to help me find her. Traitors. They open the door and allow Mercy to walk away. I don't know. I don't know where she is right now. They, they let her leave. And I am going to kill the two of them. Don't you dare touch them, Jim. You're not all right. It's been more than a year since Mercy died. Listen, she was my sister, but she's dead. You're a liar. You're lying. I've been living with Mercy in this house. Then let her go. They open the door and let her walk away. And if you don't tell me where she is, I'm going to kill two of you. I'll kill two of them. I'm going to kill two of them. <laughs> a little medical attention and you'll be fine. Okay? Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming when you did. Uh, it's alright. I'm grateful. My name is Nkichi. My name is Ralu.
I have been stuck in my grief for way too long. I did not believe that life can get any better. No hope, no happiness, and certainly no light at the end of the tunnel. Drowned in the thoughts of what I could have done differently, anger and depression consumed me and my only solace was thoughts of mercy in my head. They said I am suffering from complicated grief disorder. I wonder if I'm alone in this. They said it's nothing therapists can handle. Pray for me. Just wanna be there to know. I just wanna be there to know. I just wanna.